What's up, YouTube? I'm wearing a hat for once in my videos. I um, got the camo, b and hat. Doing a review today on the Stoker Straight. I ate it just today. Probably got a piece of metal or something in there from working. Got the black mud jug. The pinchability of stokers is like pinching hair off the floor after you get your hair cut. It just sticks. And I don't really have... Mine's like the stokers fine cut because I ain't got much hair. So when I get cut, only like a quarter inch comes off anyway. But the stoker straight is phenomenal. When you first put it in, though, it doesn't taste that good. But after you dip it a little bit, I'm going to put some music on. Bad Company Remix by Five Finger Death Punch. But the stone straight will taste weird when you first put it in. After you dip it for a little bit, it tastes just like Coke straight. I'm getting kind of sick of the straight though, because I've had three tubs of it in a row. And I've been doing, you know, getting some other stuff with it, but it's just 30 tins of straight, because the tubs are equivalent to 10 tins, 3 tins. If you do math, it's 30. 3 tubs, not 10, sorry. But. It's really good. It's a comes in a maroon tub. You can get long cut and fine cut. I prefer the long cut. The stoker straight though will make you have to spit so much when you first put it in. But it's black, and I think it's a great, great dip. But I'm just getting kind of sick of it, so I might grab some stokers or something later green or something else. Uh, I just need something a little more flavored. I mean, doing straight and natural and snuff and cold blown cut so much, and I just need something flavored for once. You know, I need a little bit of change. But I don't want to go to school. I know I got good flavors. Like, not many people like the skull cherry. But. I'm not a huge fan of it, like, oh, yeah, I'll dip that every day, let's dip it every day. No. It's like, I want some cherry, so I'll go buy a tin cherry. Yeah. If I want grape, I'll get, you know, kayak grape. But dipping isn't just for everyone. Like, not anybody can go throw one in. And consider some consider themselves a dipper. But Mudjug One. Go subscribe to his channel. He's president of Mudjug. Portless Platoon. And he donates a lot to the troops, which is a great thing. He donates mud jugs. T-shirts, hats. I think he has T-shirts and hats. I'm pretty sure. And yeah, he's got two because my uncle got one. And he got his for free. And he was over in Afghanistan. I'm going in the army because I'm not a pussy. Like half of America. Oh, if you go in the army, you're gonna die. You're gonna fucking die, man. You're gonna die. You're not gonna die. Oh, if you sign up to be firefighting, you're gonna get burned alive. Good for burn. I'm afraid to be burned to death. I'm definitely afraid of that. I absolutely, if I was to die, it, I'd rather drown. And I'm scared to death of drowning too. But I'm comfortable in the water. I'm comfortable around fire. It's just, you know, I don't want to be shot neither. I don't want to be shot and killed. But I sign up for the army because I want to do stuff. You know, I want to experience some things in my life. You know, not everybody can be a firefighter. No. 
have people in my fire department. I have no clue what they're talking about. Not a clue. It's not for everyone. But I give them more respect because they got more balls than half the other people that are like, well, it'd be cool to be a firefighter. Oh, so why don't you do it? Oh, well, I don't want to be burned to death. Well, you're ignorant. You don't know about firefighting. You know, I went into firefighting thinking like, oh, cool, I'm going to be inside of a burning building at 24-7. No, there's a lot of rules and regulations to it. And if you get a cool chief, though, they'll let you do a lot of shit you're not supposed to. Like, I'm not supposed to dip in the firehouse because I'm not 18. Well, you can suck a dick because I'm going to do it anyway. And, you know, the chief was like, oh, are you dipping? Yeah, I am. Okay. He didn't care. But, Mudjuk Mon, he sends a lot of stuff over to the troops. What about the firefighters, man? What about police officers? What about EMS? There's services, too. They put their life on the line every day. Not so much EMS, but... Firefighters, police officers, they put the line on life every day. A firefighter doesn't know if he's going to come out of a burning building. A police officer doesn't know... Oh, well, he's got a taillight out. Let me pull him over. He gets shot. Who knows? You know, I think he should donate to police officers and firefighters, too. Because, not because I want free shit. You know, like, yeah, cool. You want to give me free shit? I'll take it. And you want to give me a free tin? I'll take that. I don't care, but... I'm not asking, you know... You have to send them to... No, I'm not saying you have to send them to fucking my fire department I'm saying you know you should do something for the firefighters you know give them an option to donate to the troops to the fire department to police officers whatever you want to donate to EMS everything like that but don't just donate to the troops I feel because they're not the only service out there they're not the only people putting lives on the line every day they're not the only people that dip neither Neither are firefighters and the police officers and stuff I'm saying, but anybody else that does, if you don't do anything like that, you're a pussy. Because you're asking for free shit. Okay, I'm not saying, let me reword that. I'm not saying if you just, oh, well, I build houses, I deserve free shit. Well, you don't do a service for free. Half the people, half the firefighters, more than half the firefighters around the world are for free. I do firefighting for free. I have to pay for all my shirts. I have to pay for everything I get from the fire department. Unless somebody's nice once in a while. We occasionally get this where a guy sends down a sleeve and dip. And we only got four guys in our fire department that dip. And I usually end up getting the extra ten. Because they don't like it. I don't care what it is, I'll take the extra tank. If I don't like it, I'll just sell it. Five bucks, I make money on it, I don't care. But, they're not the only people out there that dip. You know, I got a couple dip tops that go on cans and you can spit on them and they don't really spill. I got a couple of those. I got a couple of mud jugs. I don't really like the dip tops because it's a fucking pain in the ass to get off sometimes. That if you have a can on you and you have a dip top on it, it's kind of obvious because that's a dip top. I mean, oh yeah, I'm just spitting it to lose weight for wrestling. Oh, I'm just spitting it. Oh, I don't dip. I just bought this to make it easier spitting cans because I want to spit. Yeah, what do you think you're doing if you have a dip top? You're dipping. A little bit of dip. Oh, oh dip ski and the lip ski. All right. My joke one, he's a great guy. He's great, you know. Don't it to something else besides the troops. You know, I'm not saying like troops don't deserve it. They deserve everything they get. They deserve 98% of the donations. But take some of the donations, put them towards fire departments and police officers. You know. Sorry, I went on a little rant there. Soka straight is really good. The smell is like any other straight, and. You just need to get a tub. You need to get a big ass maroon can. Oh, dip. Right now, go put a little dip ski in the lip ski, a stoker straight, 
And that's all I gotta say. Just get yourself some straight. See ya. <laughs>